Well, Odyssey is a space communications company, so we provide communication services for other objects that move around in space. You can think of us like AT&T Wireless for space users. Okay, well, if you're like AT&T, do you own your own spectrum and everything too, or? We do, yes. Uh, anything in space communication starts and stops with spectrum, and the ability to secure a commercial spectrum license was a, a big win for us. We just finished that process after two years in June this year, so just got done with that. Do you offer subsidized mobile phones? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Um, so what, are you guys just doing just the network connectivity or are you doing anything at, the other, at either end with you know, owning the satellites or the equipment to do the communications or what? So it's the whole thing. Um, you can think of us as uh, satellite owner operators. So we plan on deploying three satellites in a medium of orbit, which we own and operate, and they act like cell phone towers in space. And then we have two ground facilities, one here in the Bay Area and the second one in Singapore. Okay, and uh, who are your customers? Anybody who owns something that moves around in space. So it could be people who do commercial work on the International Space Station. Uh, we're launching a terminal up there in uh, the middle of November. Or it could be an owner-operator of a launch vehicle, both existing or emerging, or people who own satellites, uh, Earth imaging companies, IoT satellite companies, anybody who has an asset that moves around in space. Okay. And being headquartered in the US and in Singapore, are those the two target markets also for customers? Because that's where you have Spectrum or what? So our Spectrum license is global, it's worldwide in that sense. We picked the two locations because we came out of Stanford, myself and my two co-founders well, Stanford graduates, and then we needed a second location for the second ground facility that was approximately on the opposite side of the globe. So Singapore, Dubai, Western Australia were all good choices. But Singapore has been very welcoming to us from a business perspective, and that was ultimately where we ended up. Okay, given that we've had such a massive increase in um, bandwidth for terrestrial communications, um, a lot of times you used to have people handing off into satellite traffic um, to speed up the transmission of data. Do you still see a need for that, um, or are you, um, are you mainly providing communications for satellites now, or is it to transmit data to? It's really both directions, so transmitting to, but also receiving from. Two problems were solved are line of sight and availability of spectrum. So you mentioned spectrum, it's really hard these days to get space to ground radio spectrum. It's very congested and a difficult process. We solve that for our customers. And uh, line of sight, being able to see an access point at all times while you're in orbit is the other problem. Thank you very much. No problem, thank you.